I started using it after I helped a friend of mine make some carbs on a lease block he had, which wasn't an easy block, but it had been using dicalcic for eight years. The cattle that came off it were, were pretty impressive. The uh, cows were in really good condition and the calves were as fat as seals. It was pretty impressive. The first thing I noticed was the increased clover in the paddock. And the pastures grew a lot more clover. Um, the animals grazed the paddocks more completely. They didn't leave sidelines and things, they grazed them right down. Animal health has been getting better and better every year and the weights have gone up as well. Yeah, I like quality. Um, I'll, I'll keep my farm pretty short and keep the quality up and the animals seem to fly just with the quality. We're getting our lambs to better weights. We're getting more, more lambs away quicker. I think probably palatability is probably the main thing. They, they uh, tend to clean the paddocks out and they seem to eat any weeds, they eat, eat all the weeds. So the weeds are obviously palatable as well. I guess that would be the main thing I've sort of noticed. Generally cleaner pastures. Since we started using dicalcic, the cattle, so their temperament seems to be a lot better than what it was in the past. We used to get chased out of the yards by cows, which doesn't happen anymore. They seem very contented. Clover seems to be very active right through the whole farm at certain times of the year. We have a large clover base through our pastures, which wasn't there previously. Yeah, I think the um, earthworm population is increasing. The cow pets seem to disappear pretty quickly. If you kick one over, there's plenty of healthy worms underneath it doing their job, so it's all good. I haven't lost a cow for the last three years with um, grass daggers or any of those associated problems, which always used to be a problem for us. We have to assume that the dicalcic is helping that. Cattle seem to be fat all the time, pretty much. And we don't struggle to get them fat, they do it by themselves, where in the past we had to had to push them and wait for them to come come to market and now they're pretty much there all the time so it makes life easier. Seem to be getting more lambs away straight off mum at better weights and my wieners are going a lot better too. The lambs seem to hold on pretty well and the pastures seem to recover very quickly after the droughts. We've been able to come through two successive droughts without having to destock. By changing the dog housing, I've found that I've been able to um, to fertilise 100% of my farm instead of concentrating on just the good stuff, which we were doing in the past. Now we're, we've got a budget available to um, fertilise the whole farm and do it, uh, do it properly. I sort of think it um, probably doesn't pollute the waterways, if it, a bit of it does happen to um, wash it, but I think generally it, it um, holds uh, it, it, it holds itself in the soil quite well. I think in general farmers are conservationists and would like to look after their properties and by using this product I think they're going right down the right track to achieve that safety use around waterways and um, the other advantage I think is this is a sustainable product which I think will come into its own in the future on down the track.